Hello and welcome to this Eric Cantona special. Eric, thanks very much for joining us. When you first signed for Manchester United, how big a part did Sir Alex Ferguson play in you deciding to join the club? I was in Leeds and I had problems with, uh, with the manager. Well, working soon, uh, Manchester came and uh, sent for Manchester. Yeah. And was the chance to work with somebody like Sir Alex Ferguson one of the reasons that you wanted to sign for the club? Well, I didn't want to come to, to, to Manchester. I wanted to leave uh, Leeds. And uh, Manchester came, and Alex Ferguson. Uh, I think Leeds uh, asked uh, Manchester for Denis Erwin. And Ferguson said, no, he's not to sell. And he asked for me. And, uh, but of course, Manchester was one of the biggest clubs. So I said yes. What was it like to meet Sir Alex for the very first time? Yes, he, he, he's a, he's a, he's a man, manager in, uh, in sports and everything, but he, he was there to uh, when I, I met the chairman for, for salary and everything. So I think it's, it's important that he's there to, to say, yes, I really want this player. So I made, made an effort, make a, an effort to the chairman. So I think his presence was very important. It was, it, was, uh, it was the first time I, I met him. And so I was, uh, uh, I was happy, happy about the wages. I think they were happy too, because uh, uh, the fee were not very expensive. Uh, the wages were average, a lot, <laughs> of course. For, but for, uh, for a player, was yes yeah, good. I was happy. They were happy. Everybody was happy. Yeah. <laughs> and after, I had to to prove to show what uh, I could do on the pitch. And uh, they gave me the opportunity. The first uh, game I played was uh, against Manchester City. I was a substitute. I came came in, in a, at half time, I think. And from this day, yeah, over. What sort of a manager was he? How he was. He's at Manchester for 20 years, so if I say he was a great manager, yeah, it's an evidence. No? Yeah, you are not. You, you don't spend 20 years in a club like Manchester United if you are not a great manager. A great manager and a great man, strong, I think, mentally, because it, it's a great club. It's great because you play with great players. I think there is some manager who can be good with some great players and other ones not so good with average players because they, they, they have a strategy. I think it's too, too complicated for some players, I think. Uh, sometimes you can have good, very good ideas and uh, you cannot do it. But when you are in, in, a, in, a, in a big club, uh, your idea must be, your tactics, strategy uh, must be as good as the player you have. Because they can understand things that the other one cannot understand. They can play some, they are like Formula One, you know? Yeah. But the driver must be good for the Formula One. And I think uh, Alex Ferguson was a kind of pivot, like Michael Schumacher was the biggest one. And the, the players in the team were like the best Formula One. But you have to find the right uh, pilot for the right Formula One and the right Formula One for the right pilot. They want to become manager. I don't want to, to waste time with this kind of player and this kind of clubs. I would love to be a manager with the biggest player. Like United? No, I, I, I don't care. It's not uh, what I want to say. I have dreams. I have dreams. Maybe you never saw this kind of thing, but I think it can be, for me, I, my point of view, it can be successful only with big players mm. in a big club, with players who can understand this kind of thing. 
According to players like Mark Hughes and Steve Bruce, you were the only player not to get the hair dryer treatment from Sir Alex. How on earth did you manage that? Because I was, I was good. <laughs> you didn't need that? The, the, I think the, one of the qualities a manager must have, it's, it's like, he must be psychologically very good. He's a psychologue. So, so you, do, you don't have to take everybody the same, same way. You have to adapt to all different personalities. And uh, because the team were successful, I think you were good with everybody. But it didn't take everybody in, in the same way. Mm. It's, I think it's, it's the same in, every, in everything. A great uh, director in a great business company he has to do the same. You can take a, a, a woman like a man. Uh, some days are not. Uh, you have to feel things, to read. Nice. Yeah. Were you aware when you joined Manchester United of, mm. of the pressure that was on the manager and the players to, to win that first league title after 26 years? Mm. I don't know. Uh, yeah, the pressure when you're in a club like Manchester, Manchester United, it's important because you have to win. But I, I think it's when you are a winner, it's uh, easier to play uh, in a club like Manchester United because you, you lose five or six game a year. When you are in a small club, you lose 20, 25 games, so it's harder. So you, you take very good, very good time when you play in a big club. But you have to be, to be concentrated every time because you are in a, club, in a big club and you have to win. You have everything to win, but after you have to train hard, to be concentrated, that's a difficulty, but I, in, uh, the life is wonderful in a club like this. If you like to train, if you like to be concentrated, if you, if you like to win. But I think the, this kind of player are in the big clubs. Because you need to have that. And some players who are in the average club, sometimes they are good, but they cannot be good every game. They cannot train hard, they are not strong enough. They don't do all the sacrifice they have to do to be at their best. At their best. It's mentally very difficult. It's difficult when you are not like this. But some, I think, uh, me, I love to be like this. I love to train out. I don't have to train out. I love to train out. I love to do all the sacrifice. I love to, to be concentrated. Because I love to give my best. It's obsessional. So it's not uh, a difficult. It's not difficult. I love it. We all love when we train hard and we are on in the shower. And after you take your car, you go home. And you are proud of yourself. You gave everything, and you you gave everything. Not you are not proud because you train hard. You are proud because you train hard and you train hard to play good on Sunday or Saturday. So when you arrive time of the game, for the kickoff, you know you give all the things on your side to play your best. The manager called you his final piece in his jigsaw of that team. Did you realise the impact that you had that season? We all have an impact, I think. In big teams, it's, it's weak, big players everywhere. Yeah, maybe I, I was, maybe the, the, the miss this player, this piece. But I was not more important than the other one. When the so-called class of 92 came through, they, they talked about the impact that you had on them and teaching them how to train. Did you realise that you were having that impact on them? No, because I didn't change. Maybe I knew that, but I didn't do for them. I, I did it for me and for the team. And if I'm an example, 
So, okay, but I didn't do for them. And while they were young and enthusiastic and had a real passion for the game, did they in turn have an impact on you? Yeah, but, um, because some, uh, sometimes you need its tapes. Uh, sometimes you, you need something to something change. Depends on personalities, depends on players. Me and I like when things change sometimes. Uh, so when it's a new generation, it's a new thing. You play with new players who must be taken not the same way as the other one. So things change. You have to find, uh, to search thing, the right things. So I like, I like that. And uh, so I help them, but they help me too. No way. Chelsea's coming in. Elkins head up, only goes to Cantona. Sends two defenders. Leclerc. Cantona. Oh, he's back to his best. Eric Cantona is back. When you won the double in 1994, that was an incredible team that season, wasn't it? 94-94 was... Bruce, yeah. Hughes. Yeah, yeah. It, the team had everything, didn't it? It had strength, it had talent, power. Yeah, and I think they had the, the confidence because uh, we won the championship before, the year before. Uh, I think the, the, this generation could, could explain, uh, exprim uh, uh, themselves before. But United didn't win the championship for 20 years. I, I think they, they wasted time because they had the pressure sometimes. They could win the championship before when uh, we won it with Leeds. And, uh, they found, I think, uh, liberation, liberation? Mm -hmm. uh, after these championships. It's why I think we won the double the year after. They could win it before if they had won the championship before. But sometimes it's difficult. Like uh, in tennis, uh, I remember Ivan Lendl. I don't know if you remember yeah. it. Uh, every time he, he arrived in the final, he couldn't win. He couldn't win. It became an obsession. When he won the first, a grand Chelem, he won the lottery after. That's, I think that's mm. very, very important too. So this generation was, yeah, um, it was a great team. It's a, it's a shame that we couldn't we couldn't play in Europe with this team. Yeah, yeah. with strange rules, with the world, uh, Irish. There were so many winners and, and very strong characters in that dressing room at that time. How did the manager cope with you all? I think big players, all great players, have strong personality. Different personality, but strong. So when you are in a big club, it's, it's easier because they are, they are strong. It's easier because they are very good. But it's easier if you are good enough as a manager. Good enough as a manager. Tactically, like, and as a psychologist, take them. It's why uh, sometimes we see some manager who don't want to take one player in his squad because he's too complicated, yeah, uh, strange personality. But for me, it's, it's like if you say I'm not good enough, I would love if he's, if he's a good player, of course. Huh? can help me to win. I would love to take him. I don't care if it's difficult, if he has a strange personality. I have to find a way. If I don't find a way, I'm not good enough. If I don't want to take him because I am afraid that I will not find a good way to take him, I say to the world I'm not good enough. So is that the challenge? Yeah, it's, it's like a challenge. So. For Ferguson, it wasn't uh, it wasn't a problem. Yeah, they are uh, all these kind of players were very strong, very but if you are not good enough to take them, they will help the manager to win. Things. We all win together. In 1995, you were banned from playing. How did Sir Alex Ferguson help you through that time? Ah, yes. 
He showed me how uh, he wanted me to, to, to stay at United, it was the most important thing. And uh, all the journalists, media, you know, everybody were against me at this time. Maybe they were right. And um, Ferguson and the clubs show me that they kept confidence in me. So it was very important. How close were you to quitting Manchester United and was it down to Alex Ferguson that you stayed? No, I had a problem because uh, when you are a player, it's a passion, it's a dream you had when you go and you don't play. Of course, yeah, I was banned because uh, I did the bad thing. So it's difficult to come, you train, as I said before, you train for the game. But when you train for nothing, it's difficult. But you have to train because the game you have to play, it's not Saturday in three days time. It's nine months time. So, at this time I wanted to, I had enough. Uh, I had enough. I gave up. But me, many times in my life, I gave up for one day. I like the idea to give up because uh, everything coming back, the energy. When you are proud, uh, some people give up and it's for life. Me, I like to give up for a few days and everything come back because I'm proud enough. I don't want to give up. I don't want to be. I don't want to lose. So everything coming back. But the people. Uh, around me doesn't know exactly and also I need that people around me are confident uh, keep the confidence in me so it was important to feel that and it was important for me to, to say to myself I give up because now I know myself I know that, but when I am in the things, I don't know exactly. But now I know that sometimes I give up because I, I want everything coming back. And did the manager help you to come back? Yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah, we spend the night in Paris, and a good restaurant. Yeah. In 1997, when you decided to leave Manchester United, having done it before, why couldn't the manager convince you to stay a second time? Because I didn't give up. It was from 20 years, 20 years old, I always said, I live my dream, but that's a passion. Passion? I don't think. But maybe tomorrow the passion can... And you have to do it only if you feel that passion. I don't want to play for... No, I want to, to play because it's a passion. So I, I love that. So he, he has nothing to do and he understood very quickly. But he, he, he tried before. He tried, but... Sometimes you have to look at the evidence and, you've and I think I think the club uh, Ferguson, uh, Alex Ferguson and the club uh, thought that after one month of holiday two months of holiday a week coming back I waited for the patient to come in back but she never came back so I left called him your perfect manager. In what respect? Why? Because of the, uh, because of the club, because of players, uh, because, uh, because of players he, uh, he took. Uh, the one, uh, after with a new generation of players, as, as a man, uh, the way he took my, uh, he, he took my, my personality, and the, uh, the uh, position on the pitch, the freedom he gave me on the pitch. He gave me everything I needed. So for me, it was a perfect manager at the right, right time.
because I was 26 and uh, 26 between 26 and 30 is the best years for players. So I found the right manager and the right clubs and the right players at the right time. Is the loyalty that he shows to his players one of his best attributes? Uh, yeah, it's important that the players feel that. It's very important when you work on long time. Because up, uh, I think uh, even if the manager don't do a bad thing to yourself and you do to an, another one, you know that if you do it to another one, maybe one day we do it to him. So when you stay 20 years in a club, you, I, I think everybody has to feel every day. And when you stay 20 years, it because, it's because you have been loyal with everybody. But someday you have to say to one player, you will not play anymore. But you are, you are loyal. You want to be the best team. And if you don't need any more player, you have to say to him. It's not, I think, it's, I'm sure it's not easy, but you have to do it. You have to be loyal to the player and to yourself. You said you think he will die on the Manchester United bench. Do you think the club is that important to him? I, yes, I'm sure, yeah. yeah. And is that something you saw in your time? How can you see today uh, Manchester United with, could you see Manchester United with another manager? It's very difficult. Uh, Maybe you have to do sondage, sondage, <laughs> sondage. And some some fans, they are 20 years old. They're always, the only manager they knew, uh, they know it's Alex Ferguson. United. It's, uh, yeah, United is Ferguson, Ferguson is United. Even if United have known other managers and Ferguson other clubs before, I think they cannot devise. How important was he to you in your footballing career? He helped me and the players in the team to express ourselves, which means everything for a player. Uh, I don't care if you go to the restaurant and you want to spend a good time. When you are a player with a lot of ambitions, when you are a manager with a lot of ambitions, when you have a team and a club like United, what, what do you want to do? It's win things and express express yourself. So he helped us to do it. That's it's a gift. How would you sum up his twenty years at Old Trafford? Twenty years. Twenty years. It's a long time. It's a very long time. Uh, and twenty years means that you are. N a lot of generations with a lot of players, a lot of personalities, and you, you never had a problem with none of them. So it it's means that you are great. I admire him. Mm. Do you ever see yourself returning to football in a managerial capacity, and would it be at United? Yes, I, 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 yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's important the manager you had before. No, because some, sometimes some manager I never played football, like uh, football at the high level, like Arsene Wenger. Mm. He's successful, but in, he has never been a player. So he learns in other things. But, you, you, but when you have been a player, when you have played in big clubs, uh, you learn. You learn a lot from different managers. Don't uh, some manager has this kind of qualities, manager has this kind of, and you, you take a bit from all of them. But it, it, it doesn't mean that you, are, you will become a great manager. No. So the fans that still sing your name at United, mm. they may not see you as manager after Sir Alex? Who knows? Yes, we know. <laughs> it's noisy, no? <laughs> it's okay. Something. Yeah. No, in the jigsaw of his team. No, you are not. Um, I'm okay. No. Um, it's my daughter, oh, Josephine. <laughs> she was she was two when I left 
United. Eric, that's brilliant. Thanks very Thank much you. for your time.